Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. Um, I'm coming at you this week a little differently due to some time constraints um, that occurred over the weekend. I wasn't able to do my individual weekly reads. So what I'm going to do today is do um, what's coming in love for this week of October 4th for all signs. So I'm going to zip through the signs. I'm only going to pull a couple cards for each sign as we go through. So um and I apologize, this is the first time since I started that I haven't been able to do the full reads, but um, I'll be back on track next week. So I appreciate your patience with me, and here we go. So this first card pull is going to be for Aries. Aries, what's coming at you in love this week of October 4th? Oh, well... Um, I feel like Aries, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Four of Wands. So I think that um, this, I'm going to give you a couple of different interpretations. So the Three of Pentacles is teamwork. So this could be someone coming towards you from your work. It could be someone um, that's willing to be a teammate with you. Uh, but it's coming in a fashion that is going to be truly unexpected. You're going to have an unexpected shakeup of some sort. Um, the Tower is not always negative. It's not always like world falling apart information, but it's definitely something that's unexpected. So, but very stable. You have the four of wands here, which is stability, a twin flame. So I think that, um, you know, if I were just to kind of gather what my first thought was about these cards is someone um, that's willing to be a teammate is going to come and just like rock your world. It's something unexpected is going to come out, but it's going to bring stability, potential marriage type material. So, um, that's because we're talking about love. If this were a work read, I might interpret things a little bit differently, but I think someone unexpectedly is going to come along and it's going to be your twin flame and that you're just not going to be expecting this. Your tower moment is going to be occurring. So I'm going to get one romance oracle card from Doreen Virtue. And it says, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in your present moments. So perhaps maybe that's something to do with this tower moment, too. Is something's just going to shake up your situation, Aries. All right. All right. And moving on. I'm going to try to do this a little bit faster than I just did because I feel like um, I want to be able to get all the signs in here without this being like a super long video. I might just have to do the first half. I don't know. So the next one we're going to do is Taurus. So Taurus, what's coming in love towards you this week? So what's coming towards Tauruses in love this week? Wow, interesting. Oh, interesting. So I didn't do bottom of the deck on the last read, but uh, Four of Swords is the energy here, which is like healing, resting, and recuperating. And we have two cards of kind of healing here as well. So I think this week, I think you might get some communication from someone with the Knight of uh, Swords coming at you, direct communication. This could be a person that's very intellectual, funny, great humor, um, witty. Uh, but I think you're going to get some information, uh, a message from a person. It's, it might come in quick and feel like a little impulsive. Um, this information you get is going to kind of put you in the solitude hangman energy. So, I, um, or the Virgo hangman energy. So I think you're going to kind of pull yourself um, to be in solitude, to do some reflection, to do some thinking, kind of figuring out what you want. Um, there will be this pause or this surrender to the situation. But look at these, look at this light in these. There's definitely healing occurring, right? So I feel like um, you might hear some information in love that doesn't, not necessarily what you want to hear, but it will become quite healing. It might pull you away. Um, you might have to be pulled away to get this healing. Let's see what your romance angel oracle card is. Children, your love life is being affected by children. So this could be lots of things like perhaps... Your person has a child and their situation is going to be impacting your situation or um, your child is impacted by the situation or who knows. You tell me, Taurus. All right, next we're going to move on to Gemini's. So Gemini, what is coming towards you in love this week? 
I'm also going to do a pick a card if um, if you guys haven't checked that out yet. Check that out. Um, and I might do a Divine Masculine um, and a Divine Feminine read. I'm not sure because I got a new deck with some messages that I haven't tried out yet. Oh, this is nice, Gemini. All right. Um, bottom of the deck, teamwork. So potentially this could be someone you work with. Um, but... We have Eight of Wands. This is like rapid forward movement or messages coming, um, passionate messages perhaps. Uh, the Sun card, which is representing a Leo um, or positivity, joy, optimism, and the King of Swords. So I think someone is going to be delivering some messages. I think they're going to be direct. Um, it could potentially be from a Leo or from an air sign. Um Direct, clear-cut messages. Someone's really figuring out what they want. They're using their head, not their heart. Um, but they're going to directly communicate how they feel to you. Lots of messages coming forward. So I think, um, I don't know if they're professing their love, but uh, I think it's a very positive, optimistic situation or potentially a Leo coming towards you, Gemini. Now oh, that one's super quick, but I feel like that was pretty, pretty direct, like the Eight of Wands are, right? Pretty direct. And what is the Romance Angel Oracle card for Gemini? Oh, forgiving and learning. This is the same one Aries just got. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So maybe this person's going to say an apology. I don't get the page of wands here, but I don't know. They're going to come in and offer maybe forgiveness or maybe they've forgiven you or I don't know, Gemini, you tell me. All right, the next one we're going to do is Cancer. What is coming to Cancer for this week in love? What's coming towards Cancer this week in love? Mm, these cards are like not wanting to shuffle. They're like sticking. Nice, Cancer. Looks like maybe you've had some sleepless nights, but I think that's going to be ending because um, we have the Ace of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Cups. So for me, the Ace of Swords represents like mental clarity, a new stable start with mental clarity. The Six of Wands is victory, um, love conquers all. And the Three of Cups is a soulmate -y kind of energy, marriage, celebration. Um, some people say this is a card of friendship, right? So here, obviously, these ladies are friends. But um, I feel like it's like one of those friendships that is so, so right that it's like a, a soulmate like wedding celebration type card it could be friends and partying and enjoying each other's company but I think um, it's going to be someone that really has strong feelings for you love is going to conquer all in this situation but they also have a very clear mind so they know what they want they know they want to be victorious they know they want to be with you I don't see any communication cards here though um, so I don't know if they're going to tell you all that 100%, but they're definitely feeling you. All right, Cancer, let's get a um, Romance Angel Oracle card for Cancer. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So maybe this is someone brand new that you don't even know, Cancer. Exciting stuff. All right, guys. We're going to zip next to Leo, 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 Leo. What's coming in love for Leo this week? I'm sorry, these are so short, guys, but I really wanted to touch base with you. I didn't forget about you. It was just um, whew, this weekend, my day job just uh, took up a lot of my time and I had a lot of work to do. Okay, Leos. See, so like this is the perfect example of how a similar card can bring up a different energy. Um, Conflict and competition on the bottom of the deck here. So there's a five of wands there. The first card that popped out for Leo is five of pentacles. So uh, either you or your person, Leo, is kind of feeling like they've been left out in the cold. Um, I think it's your person, to be truly honest with you. I think you've been potentially focusing on your pentacles or your... I totally screwed that up. Sorry. I think this could be your person or... Um, I think you are here full of love. You're full, you're like uh, uh, emotionally stable. I almost said pentacles. I almost went the, the wrong route with this card. This is um, nine of cups. So emotionally stable, um, emotionally fulfilled, but it's a singular energy. So um, either, 
I, I don't know. I'll tell you, it's either you or them. And then the other card is the Three of Cups card. So this card in the last one kind of felt like to me, like it's always a celebration card, right, of genuine care um, and love. But I feel like um, sometimes it's like a marriage card or like an engagement party feeling or a wedding reception feeling. But this, this spread makes me feel a little different. So either you or them, Leo, is feeling like you've been left on the cold. So whoever this is, the opposite person, is kind of basking in this um, singular energy and, and enjoying their life and celebrating and having fun with their friends. So I'm not sure, Leo, I guess if it's what's coming towards you in love, maybe you'll just be celebrating with your friends a little bit, or maybe, you know, your person is sad or you're sad, I don't know, or I guess this could be you are feeling sad, you really find that you have a lot to be thankful about and you enjoy yourself. But, um... I don't know. I'm not really picking up. I'm picking up more on a an opposite situation for some reason. And then like 100 cards just fell out. So I'm going to take the one worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. Yeah. So I think maybe this is you, Leo, feeling down and out and about something. Um, it's showing that you are emotionally stable by yourself. You can have happiness and love and offer love and have fun with friends. Um, and what you're waiting for is worth it. So it's okay to continue waiting, Leo. Yeah, I got a totally different vibe with that read. So I don't know why. All right, so we're going to do Virgo next. So Virgo, what is coming in love for Virgos? I'm not taking that one because it just, well, I guess I will. I wasn't going to because I feel like it didn't even shuffle it in and it snuck out from the bottom and flipped. But I'm going to take it, I guess, because it popped up. Um, Leo just got the exact same card, Five of Pentacles. So maybe Leo and Virgos are connected somehow. <laughs> oh, Lord. Maybe so. <laughs> okay, so um, Virgo. So perhaps you are feeling out in the cold, um, but what's coming towards you in love? Your divine masculine, so your counterpart, the emperor with someone who is so in love with you, the queen of cups. Um, and then uh, maybe this, the moon card is just um, things coming kind of to surface, uh, the secrets that have been hidden come into light. So perhaps you're going to find out something that you've been waiting to hear, or hoping to hear is a secret. Something that you don't know is going to come to light. Um, or you need to use your intuition. So, I don't know, you or them, again, Virgo, very similar to Leo's, um, feeling like they've been left out in the cold, uh, but your divine masculine is coming, um, very direct, very good communicator and protector, um, and someone that has lots and lots of love for you, the Queen of Cups, someone who's uh, nurturing and empathetic and loving and um, just very compassionate, has lots of love to offer. All right, let's get a um, Romance Angel Oracle card for you, Virgo. For Virgo. These cards crack me up sometimes. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. There would be with your divine counterpart, right? All right, Virgos. That's for you. Let's uh, see what's next. Um, I think I am going to actually pause this video and restart a second half to do Libra through Pisces since I just did Aries through Virgo. So, um, if you are in the next group of signs, please click on the next video, um, to watch those signs or cross watchers. If you want to check somebody else out that's in that group, then please do so. So thanks guys for watching until next time. Bye.